just we just found the box of trophies. It says a uh, scratch winner in O grade there, Ashley. Scratch. Adrian Atchison. I don't know how I got that. That was a bit fluky. For Adrian Atchison, trophies and rugby go together. His family are all lifelong supporters of the Forbes Rugby Club, the team that Adrian and his brothers grew up playing for. But this season will be different for Adrian. For the first time in his life, he won't be playing. Injuries will keep him on the sidelines for the entire season, but these are not injuries he received playing rugby. Every year at the end of the season, the Forbes Rugby Club goes on a trip. And last year they chose Bali as their destination. For a lot of the guys, it was their first trip overseas. And like everyone talks about Bali as a holiday destination, so we're obviously very excited to find out what it was all about. And uh, just remember, like when the plane touched down, the, the humidity and the heat was pretty oppressive. But uh, we thought that was going to be good drinking weather, so that didn't worry us none too much. Like I said, going away with uh, 25 blokes, you wouldn't know what you'd be liable to get into. Anything could and probably would happen. Get a bit of jungle juice in you. There's plenty of good looking women around and plenty of good looking blokes and you, you know, you all get together and have a great time. Everyone that had been to Bali told us the Surrey Club was the place to go, which pretty much it seemed like it was, like the place was packed. I was just actually picking up a new, rather large cocktail off the bar. A bit disappointed about that. That's when the, the minivan exploded out the front and uh, I just remember like seeing flames rolling at me and then, then I just got crunched by the loudest, loudest noise you could ever imagine. Yeah, and then everything just disappeared and blacked out. And then you just, it, it was a deathly silence. It was, it was just really quiet. And then all of a sudden the noise started to get louder and louder and people started to realise what was happening. What, what the hell happened? Big bomb blew out the Surrey Club, blew out this place. What was it? Do they know? Big bomb. It was a bomb. Yeah. Do I remember looking around and there was all these spot fires coming up everywhere and they were just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I said, oh, you know, I just thought to myself, I'm in some shit here. And I looked down and saw someone laying down there. Then I sort of uh, blacked out or passed out for a while. Then the uh, next thing I remember is hearing a voice going, get out, get out. And uh, I sort of sort of tried to open my eyes and I had all had a cut above this eye and had blood running down in it and had all shrapnel in this eye. I sort of opened up my eyes and there was a big, like a big bamboo thing and I sort of pushed that off me. And then I looked up and then there was just fire everywhere. I had a fair idea that we'd lost one of them. And the way that we pieced things together, you sort of worked out who was missing. The boys going through the morgue and, and, and all that sort of thing, horrific, it's just horrific stuff to see that sort of thing. It was just, uh, just a tragedy to lose those three guys the way we did. Yeah, it doesn't hit home for a while. Yeah, for these guys, I'm trying to feel cool. Watch out! What's out behind you? You can get these guys on there. Very good. Dear old dad, look at him. <laughs> Got the hat on, hasn't done the hair today. He'd be a bit dirty on that. Oh, well, I want a cup of coffee and yeah. you can't even get that right. We actually spent a bit of time living together. We shared a flat together up on Clary Road. That was uh, quite an interesting time. We had a sink that long, and by Joe's, the plates were piled up that high. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind works in weird ways. Yeah. He's been a good mate ever since and uh, he looked after me in Bali when we got out of the club, just after the bomb went off. There's a bit of footage of me and Matty walking along. He's looking at me and he turned to me and he said, what do you want me to do? I was sort of in shock and didn't have much to say. He said, stay here, you've got to wait here with the other boys. I said, Dad, I'm going to the hospital. 
and just took off up the street. I didn't know where I was going. And uh, I was lucky he came with me. I ended up 30 k's out the road at this army hospital. When we got in there, just all these people just started flying through, like people with half legs here and, and, and people with no skin. And I can just, you can just see the whites of their eyes, you know? And, and they're just yelling out for help. I was pretty, pretty banged up when I was in the hospital and it was touch and go whether I'd uh, actually pull through there for a while. Had a fair few problems and uh, complications. He was on the serious list, so they got him on the on the on the big cargo planes, and yeah, that's the last we saw of him at, the, at that hospital. Nice and low, boys. Hold, engage. Keep it on, keep it on, keep it on. Just for two, Murray. Just for two, Murray. And we're playing in this weekend. We're trying to the coaches and and. Uh, all of us are trying to show a fair bit of pride and we want to run out there for new Guernseys and new shorts. Six months later, and, uh, almost to the day, the team prepares now. to meet the first hurdle of the new well, season, their first game. And now they have a new goal. They want to win the Premiership as a tribute to the memory of the three players who died in Bali. A Premiership they haven't won for 14 years. Tell you what, boys, I will say... This weekend, very, very important. Okay? For yourselves and for other personal reasons. But let's channel all your anger, your emotion, all the things that you feel inside, let's channel it, bottle it, and put it out there and rack it up. There's a feeling, and a belief that. Not that maybe we can win it, but we we can win it and win it well. <laughs> Mum's heavily involved. She's a very passionate supporter of Forbes Rugby. She's fantastic for the club. She does a lot of work behind the scenes. She doesn't get thankful. Just collecting the last of the fees, a few of them were uh, a bit behind and we said, not paid up, no play. Yeah, he's a pretty boy, isn't he? Just um, tell you a bit about the Guernseys, that the boys will be wearing this year. Uh, they're going for the, um, the different strip with a permanent um, armband. Crowley was number two, Greg Sanderson was a front row, number one. And Brad Ridley was uh, a lock, number eight. Good, sir. I can play it, ain't it? Phil just approached me and he said, um, I'd like you to hand out the jumpers. And I, I went, oh, yeah, I'd love to. Oh, yours, mate. Okay. Big fella, mate. We um, tried to keep it low key, but it was hard. It was hard not to feel it. Good, mate. Privilege. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Good luck, Phil. It's pretty frustrating sitting on the sidelines, having to watch. Especially feel like, just feel like I could be out there running around.
when um, I saw them on the film walking away, and I knew it was Adrian and Maddie, but I can only focus on this wall of flame behind them. The doctor said it was burns to 15% of his body. I said to Adrian, were you actually on fire? And he said, no, it was just the heat, the heat. Yes, but life goes on. You can't moddy coddle and you can't hold them back. They've all got to keep moving on and living life does not need any. Uh, it's upside down, Chloe. Oh, no. Lovely. Isn't it? Make sure. <laughs> There's no soul coming out of it. Oh, how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> What's all that? Oh yeah, a little bit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, such a good yeah, cook, yeah. it doesn't need salt or pepper. Cold is that? I still to this day don't know. Most of the mums don't know. Everybody says in time you'll they'll say it when they're ready. It sort of makes you realise that when people spoke about their loved ones coming home from the war and they never ever told them what happened. It's just too much for them. They don't want to know. They don't want to have to confront it. Knocking off for the day, mate. Uh, Andrew's a lot like me. Uh, we play our cards pretty close to our chest as far as feelings and emotions go like that. Hit the old man up for a job and came in with the goods, so started working with him since then. Uh, we're essentially uh, commercial uh, industrial builders. Factories and warehouses and sheds. Andrew is always bright and bubbly on the outside. You're never sure what's going on underneath, and he won't let you into that. I sat him down when he first came home, and I said, "I want to talk to you. Um, you know, don't bottle this up. You know, let it." And he assured me that he was all right, and that's where we've left it, so... I thought we did well to get that far. <laughs> um, I'm coping with it fairly well anyway, I think. And I just try and put it out of my mind. Probably the best way to do it is going a beer and a laugh and a joke, and. Or that's what I find anyway. Life goes on, you just got to keep going on. And I'm there obviously to help if I can in any way. We had a good stable relationship, I thought, <laughs> for 20 odd years. For the last 13 years, I've been a single mum and tried to do. Um, the best I could for my children. Thank you kindly. Have a nice afternoon. And the football's on this afternoon, so yeah. Uh, Gotta get this done first. Oh, well, the split up with um, Glenn. He went to Orange and I stayed here, and so I started taking more control and ended up with fully managing it. Yeah. Let's have one, boys. Out ball now. Out ball. Six wins from six games, and Forbes are on top of the ladder. But it's been a hard slog, and the competition's getting tougher. Although they're on a winning streak, the players know they still have to play the Emus, last year's premiers. Hey, think about what you're playing for. Think about what you're playing for. What's at stake? Lift it. After that, the first game, you know, everyone was sort of playing for the sleeve and the boys that were left behind. But uh, to be quite tr truthful, um, you know, it hasn't really been brought up in any other game since, which I find comforting. They, um, whether they suffer in silence, I don't know. Everyone's got their own story to tell. There's plenty of people over there who are a lot more special than me. People that went back into the club and got others out. They're the ones you should be talking to, they're the heroes. I 
I've heard, oh, I don't know, how yeah, many operations. Travel down to Sydney all the time for checkups and pretty disrupting to your normal life or what is my life now? A significant segment in the middle of his eardrum is blown out. And so the unsteadiness associated with this sort of glass injury often makes it more difficult to get away. You try to get up and you're staggering and so on and so forth. And that looks good. And this little problem, I'm sure he's got lots of other problems from his horrible experience, but this little problem will hopefully be solved. change it, just pull that outer layer in and just put another one in mm -hmm. and see how the sutures they're dissolvable. Yeah. Okay. All right. They take about three weeks for those things to Oh! <laughs> you bastard. With two games to go before the finals, Forbes are finally up against the emus. A win will make them competition favourites. A loss would be a major setback. Okay, we made a few mistakes and we come away with a loss. So get your chin up, okay, be proud of what we've achieved. <coughs> All right? And uh, we'll go on from here. Just to go out and have beers and enjoy ourselves tonight. I can have no. Still got that option. Behind the scenes, a group of former players meet regularly to monitor the recovery of those affected by Bali. She said, and into the second year after the first anniversary's gone on and, and things are quieting down again, you know, things seem to settle down. And she said, but after about the third year, things start to build up again. You have a couple of good years and then it, they just start to fall off the perch. Now, there's salad on Thanks. the table. I don't know how my girlfriend puts up with it. Without her support, I'd be uh, in a lot of trouble. I really would have been. Like there's times when I'm as good as gold and then next minute something will just set me off. I'll just snap and just be really moody. Yeah, you just get so cranky and you just let him go. We realise that that's the way he's handling his grief, that's fine if that's how he wants to handle it. As long as he's dealing with it, well... It's like there's no certainty in life anymore. There's nothing sure in their lives. About 20 years ago, wasn't it? 20 years ago you started going out and you've been talking about marriage since the word go, oh. haven't you? And poor Janelle's just been, <laughs> you know, strung. <laughs> Dickhead. A bit hard to afford to live on our own or buy a house and that sort of thing, so... Yeah, yeah at the moment, happy staying here. <laughs> The team has had their best year ever, with 16 wins and three losses, and are now into the grand final. With the emus out of the running, Forbes now have to play Bathurst, the largest town in the competition. It's been a long year, and this is where the quest begins. There's 10,000 people in Forbes, and you've lost the best 15 we can offer. So carry that baggage with you, because it's something you should cherish. Hey. Once we got to the finals and look, everything started to come together, I just felt back in back in the part of it again, not alone and happy with what, what's going on, you know, happy with myself, happy with the life around me. And I think a lot of the lads are like that too. The 
really got behind the boys, the whole town. Just everywhere you went, people were talking about it. It was a real buzz. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, everyone just focused on turning the bad thing into a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> We've always had a pretty good bond, all of us. I mean, that's why we all toured away together. I mean, we've all been through something terrible together. And I suppose we, we're the only ones who can really relate to it together. It was a life-changing event, no doubt about that. All the talking's done, boys, eh? Self-belief, fellas, self-belief. Well, we've got extra reasons today. Everybody knows what they are. The year after it happened at Bali, <coughs> they're gonna remember Crowey, Sando and Rids. They'll be brought up for 20 years, 30 years down the track. Every time they look at that 2003 Premiership. Every time you score, you taste their blood and you want more. Go again, pick yourself up and go again. Three, two, one, three! It's great atmosphere down here. You can never at standing room only really at the moment. Yeah, Randy. This one has had everything. Excitement, tremendous tries, great online defence, and the Bulldogs, the courage of this Bathurst side, they refuse to lie down. The destiny here now is in your hands. We're against the wind, we're seven points in front, and how you win this game now is up to yeah. you. Yeah. Take step, we said we would. One of the best memories of one of the yeah. worst. 40 minutes, if you're going to put in, it's yours. Come it's on. yours if you And they've resumed the second half here at Quinstead Oval. Now Bathurst, are they two metres out? Oxley, is he going from the back? Comes over the winger, he's going to score! Then we're going to wait for the referee, he's awarded a try! Here it is, mate, OK? This is it. This is a good hit, mate. Keep it going. This crowd's starting to get a bit boisterous now, and as they need to do, they need some pumping up to get these boys over the line. The Platypi have led all the game. They won't let themselves lose it in this last passage of play. David Hodder has absolutely capitalised what has been an outstanding career. David Hodder has crossed the line and scored a beautiful set piece of play. It's full time, ladies and gentlemen. Fives have won. They have created history. Beautiful day. I know those boys want us to go on with our lives, but uh, it is, it's really hard. You always remember, it's always there, but you've got to go on, you've got to keep living. The way I see it is, I've been given a second chance that 
my mates weren't, a lot of other people weren't. I'm going to make the most of every second of every day.